Well, everyone, and I hope you're doing great today. Today, we're looking at the Radioactive Decay Series of Thorium-232. We're also going to look at the net reaction and explain why it is called a 4N series. What we have here now is an outline of the decay series, starting with thorium-232, which is unstable, ending with lead-208, which is stable. What you're going to do is to go through each decay and explain what type of decay each is. The first, starting with thorium-232, and the first element that is formed is radium-228. The mass number decreased by 4, while the proton number decreased by 2. So therefore, this is an alpha decay. Moving from radium into actinium, notice the mass number remains the same. The proton number increased by 1. So therefore, this is a beta decay. From actinium into thorium-228, the mass number remains the same. Proton number increased by 1, therefore this is another beta decay. Moving from thorium back into radium-224, notice the mass number decreased by 4, the proton number decreased by 2, so therefore this is an alpha decay. Moving from radium-224 into radon-220, the mass number decreased by 4, the proton number decreased by 2. Therefore, this is another alpha decay. Coming from radon into polonium, and polonium is two, it's 216, and so therefore this mass number decreased by 4. The proton number decreased by 2, so therefore this is another alpha decay. Coming from polonium 216 into lead 212, the mass number decreased by 4, proton number decreased by 2, so this is another alpha decay. Coming from lead 212 into bismuth, the mass number remains the same. The proton number increased by 1, so this is a beta decay. Coming from bismuth into polonium 212, the mass number remains. The proton number increased by 1. Therefore, this is another beta decay. For the final decay, we're moving from polonium 212 into lead 208. The mass number decreased by 4. The proton number decreased by 2. So this is an alpha decay. Now we're going to use this decay series to an analyze a few things. And so, as a summary of the entire decay series, I want you to notice that the first element is thorium-232. The final element is lead-208. Looking at the arrows, or if I check the number of arrows, what we get here is 10. So we have 10 steps, or 10 decay. Now let us break this down into alpha and beta. For the total number of alpha decay, you'd realize that we have a total of 6. For the beta, if you check all of them, we realize that we have a total of 4. So 6 alpha decay and 4 beta decay will give us our 10 decays or 10 steps. Now let's talk about our 4N series. To determine if this is a 4N series or what type of 4N series it is, what you can do is you take any of the mass, and so I'm taking 212, and I divide it by 4. Again, you can divide any of the mass within the series by 4. What you should get is an integer or a whole number with no remainder. So if I divide 212 by 4, what will I get here is 53 and no remainder. So therefore, it's just a 4N series. Uh, now let's jump into the net reaction. For the net reaction, again, we start with thorium-232, ending with lead-208. And now again, check our num total number of alpha decay. We have a total of 6. 
Now let's check our total beta decay as we did before, and we have a total of four. And so if we look at the equation, which is this is the net, net reaction, but we want to prove it if it is correct. And so what I'm going to do here is to add all the masses to make sure that we are correct. And so for the masses, we have 208 plus 24 plus 0. How do we get 24? It is actually 6 multiplied by 4 give us 24. So 24 plus 208 is 232. Now let's check the proton. The proton will be 82 for lead plus 12 plus negative 4. The 12 is 6 times 2. That's 12 for the alpha. And for the beta, it is 4 multiplied by minus 1 give us minus 4. So that is the total proton number. And so therefore, that is equal to 90. So therefore, our overall net reaction is represented here as a product, lead 208. And we have 6 alpha decay plus 4 beta decay. All right, so I hope this was really fun. I really enjoyed this lesson, I must say. And I also want to thank you for watching. And remember, whether you lose or gain, be happy. Have a blessed day. Talk to you soon.